The new developments in the fight over the so-called love locks in Norfolk. Hundreds of padlocks lined the Hague footbridge in Ghent. A group has sued to get them removed, and now a judge says the case can move forward. 13 News Now reporter Stephen Graves has a look at what the ruling means. Along the Hague Bridge in Norfolk, are they symbols of love or just a public nuisance? A new court order says a special grand jury has full right to investigate. I think most people think of a grand jury and they, they think of the context of a criminal prosecution. Attorney Edwin Booth, who we asked to review the order, says he hasn't yeah. seen anything like it. Some people say to go this far over love locks is silly. In that order, though, Judge Everett Martin says the court does not entirely share that sentiment. The court was very careful to say that Anything that obstructs uh, the, the, the roadway, and we are dealing with a roadway here, is considered under the law to be a public nuisance. For years, the city has refused to take these down, saying they are not a nuisance. Five Ghent residents who asked for the special grand jury cite safety issues. But before a jury is called, the judge simply suggests that city workers just cut them off because it's a cheaper expense. I think the court is recognizing the fact that perhaps not the most efficient use of the taxpayer's dollars. So we did an online search. A city maintenance worker on bridges makes at most about $20 an hour. A grand juror, $30 a day. The circuit court clerk says there are seven jury members, which comes out to $210. Say seven city workers cut the locks in an hour. We're talking at most $140. And so tonight we've reached out to the city of Norfolk to get some type of answer. They say their attorneys are still reviewing the order and won't have any comment until that is over. Reporting in Norfolk, I'm Stephen Graves, 13 News Now.